what I'd like to do is show you how to use Google Photos to create your photo slideshow for the studio reviews this year. We're going to be full remote, no one's going to be in person, everything's going to be online, so we want everyone's setup to be the same so that we don't waste any time on the night of the review. So the first thing you're going to do is head over to Google Photos. and you should see a screen something like this. I'm going to assume that your photos are not on your Google Photos account at this point, that you're starting from scratch, and I'm going to walk through those steps. We're going to create a new album. So if we come over here to the sidebar on the left, you'll see the option for albums. We'll click on that, and we're going to create an album. The first thing you get to do is put in a title. We're going to we're going to use your name first. And what it is, studio review. And the the date. We'll do the the semester and year. So your name, studio review, fall 2020. And then you're going to come down here and add some photos. Now again, I'm assuming that the photos you want to add are not already on Google Photos. Uh, if they are, you can just select them here. If they're not, you can come up here and hit Select from Computer. And on my desktop, I have a folder already set up with all my photos in it. It's called Studio Review Images. Uh, so these are the photos that I want to add. There are seven of them. I'm going to drag and select all of them and choose those. So now you can see in the bottom left hand corner my photos are uploading. If you're on a slow connection at home and not on campus it might take a few minutes. Uh, if you're on campus the internet here is really fast so it should be pretty pretty quick. Um, but be patient if it's taking a little while just give it time it'll happen. So now you can see my images are here uh, they've populated in this album. You may have more than this, you probably won't have less, uh, but the more you have, the more work you're going to have to do to get this thing set up the way we want you to have it set up. Uh, the first thing I want to do is rearrange some of these. Maybe, maybe I'm happy with this, but maybe I'm not. Um, chances are these didn't populate in the order that you want us to look at them. So when it comes time during the review to, to open up your uh, your photo album and view it as a slideshow, it's going to be up to you to make sure that everything progresses in the order that you want. For instance, I have an, uh, a full scale image here and a detail shot here. I want to start with the full scale image and then move to the detail. Um, in order to do that, in order to move things around, I can't just start grabbing and dragging. You actually have to tell it that you want to edit. So if you click on the the three little dots up here for more options. You can edit the album and now you can see there's a little bit of separation between these and it will let me pick them up and drag them around. So I can move things where I want them to be. And take as much time with this as you need. It's important that you get this right or your slideshow is going to be confusing. When I'm happy with the order that things that things are in the in the slideshow, I'm just going to hit the little checkbox up here to tell it that I'm done editing. Uh, and now my slideshow should be set up. Uh, it, it runs from top to bottom, left to right. Uh, and the next thing I want to do is uh, add some data to each of these images. There are three specific things we're looking for. You're going to want to add the title, the materials, and the scale. And to do that, you're just going to click on the image. Here, I'll do a different one. So we want the title, the materials, and the scale. So I'm going to click on the image that I want to edit. And you should see an info bar over here on the right. If you don't, you can toggle it on and off with the little eye in the corner. So I've toggled the info on. And it gives me a place here where I can add a description. So I'm going to add a title. 
I'm going to add the materials. And I'm going to add the scale. This is a three-dimensional object, so I'm going to have three numbers here. If it's a painting, you only need the length and the uh, the length and the width, or the the width and the height. Uh, if it's a sculpture, you need length, width, and height. Uh, so this is 65 inches by 14 inches by six inches. And that's enough, uh, but if you want to add a description, you can. And that should do it for the data that we need you to add to the individual piece. So when you're done, you can toggle your info off, you can pop back. And now it's important to note that the image, the data that you've just added to the image is gonna show up whether it's in this slideshow or not. So right now we're looking at this album that I've created, but if I back out, I can look at all my photos and if I click on the image that we just altered and hit info, you can see that that, so the, the info that I've added isn't album specific, it's photo specific, right? Um, if that makes sense. So once you've created your album and you've got it set up the way you want, or, or even if it's not quite set up the way you need it to be for the studio review, you're gonna need to share it with me and Professor Rinklin. So to do that, you can click on the little share button in the upper right hand corner. And since we're all using the G Suite, it's very easy. You can just type in somebody's name and it'll auto populate. Um, I'll, click, I'll select Professor Rinklin here. I can't select myself. So there, you should have two names up here, Professor Rinklin's name and my name. And, um, and I will go ahead and make sure that your slideshow is ready to go uh, for uh, is shared with the appropriate people um, for the studio review. So I'm just writing test album down here and I'm going to send it off. But you will want to put your uh, a, a, a short message to me uh, or to Professor Rinklin. You may let, let us know if your album is 100%, if it's not quite there yet, um, you can use this, uh, this little text box to let us know what's going on. And that is that.